All right, today we're going to talk about this aim trainer aim beast and if it's worth the price tag we're going to compare it to a lot of other aim trainers like aim lab and kovacs and we're going to see what the differences are and what the strengths and weaknesses are all right so the first thing is the price 17 dollars i really don't think is worth it i think this price right now is on sale on five dollars around five to ten dollars i think it's a good fair price for it the reason for it is because it doesn't have a very large community or a lot of scenarios but we'll talk about why that doesn't really matter soon I've been told by a lot of people about the optimization being really good. And that's actually true. You can restart scenarios really easily. The UI is really clean. You can see the stats right here. You can see your accuracy over time. You can see the sensitivity different people used on, on high scores, stuff like that. Now that's all great. You get good FPS. There's a shit ton of customization you can do on all the different things. You can make your own scenarios. If you create your own server and you go on arenas, which we'll talk about, you can adjust all the movement speed, the gravity, the Guns, all stuff like that so overall it's really good it's really feature rich and it's got a lot of things like for example sensitivity randomizer and metronome like something like Kovacs doesn't have so we'll start off with the most important part which is the scenarios okay so it's really simple and it's really really clean if you look at this you just go into play you see normal and you can search by rank there's a filter you can search by you can search by difficulty which is really important and i'll tell you why soon there's a lot of different scenarios and it's honestly really good it doesn't have as many as something like kovacs but honestly something like kovacs is a lot of reskin scenarios i mean how many times can voltaic remake smoothbot and make it like two percent harder and call it something completely else i mean for me it doesn't really fly now you can go to ranked which is basically benchmarks you can see intermediate advanced there's a lot of different types of ranks and if you're interested in, in stuff like that there's a whole other system for that that comes with the game so here's my favorite part about this and what sets it apart from all other aim trainers pretty much arena i mean sorry routines now this is really important because this is basically playlists that other people have made why this is so important holy shit pokemon why this is so important is because you can set it up by difficulty by your different needs so for example filter type i want to play tracking and you know what i want to play the hardest tracking there is boom you have super hard tracking and you can see their names and difficulties their statistics you can download them favorite them their ratings everything about that my favorite one and which i'd really recommend is this one tracking god training here's the difference and what sets it apart these scenarios are all based around getting better at arena which is the pvp 1v1 duels which we'll talk about soon if you have close fast strafes like this one in something like kovacs and we'll put it up on screen right now it's really quite a basic smoothened out version of it it's not that hard and honestly it's not that realistic in this one however the close fast strafes actually move like a bot like they move super fast side to side and do those micro adjustments and like the reactive isn't either crazy over the top like it is in something like uh, very hard scenarios in kovacs and it isn't too smooth like it is in easier versions of kovacs or even aim labs have this issue where it's like super easy or super hard this one is kind of in between but also more towards the harder side which i really like and mainly it's realistic i mean you can think about it like this a lot of the scenarios that example auto strafes in kovac it just moves you side to side left to right left to right left to right this one mixes up your movement and does you back and forth and it blinks you and it moves you like do a stutter steps and side to side fast and long strafes to really train your aim in different parts of of movement which is really important in game so again everything about the routine system the playlist the rank system is honestly 10 out of 10 and it's better than kovacs and it's better than aim lab and the reason being again because they have this difficulty system and more so they have realistic scenarios like these types of strafes are exactly what you would see in game and the reason they have nailed this is because the people making scenarios are focused on arena and now we'll talk about arena arena is basically a 1v1 dual system it's like 1v1s with lg in quake for example you go in it's not that popping i'm not gonna lie it doesn't have too many players but even if there's no players around you play against bots who are really good until somebody joins so 
don't be afraid to join servers with higher ping also because ping supposedly doesn't matter as much as, as it does in other games with this one but usually you can find players to 1v1 and these players will really put you in your place like the top one guy i've played against the top one guy he owns like multiple of these accounts and it's like top on everything and he is on another level like he got me 50 and zero i couldn't kill him a single time that's how insane he is you can see his win rate here 90 percent and it's really been eye-opening for me to see how bad my tracking is compared to the top one percent of aimers and this way of putting yourself against like top aimers with only aim in mind nothing like cod versus like positioning games as blah 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 it's only aim it really is a wake-up call for me to see like holy shit i need to wake up work on my aim i need to get better on this and honestly when i'm streaming a lot of people have said your aim has improved your tracking has improved well before they used to kind of bully me for it <laughs> so if you want to get aim beats just for the arena honestly it's super worth it play 30 minutes of this and you'll really rethink how much aim training you need Again, it's really feature rich, but I hope hopefully it's something like Aim Labs, where they're always improving and always adding new stuff. I've been around long enough in this uh, particular community to see how it is, but hopefully it is something like that. And that's something I hate in Kovacs. Kovacs have had this issue with the UI, where if you play it, we start a scenario, go to a new scenario, the UI is gonna bug and you're just gonna not see the UI. You have to alt tab, tab back in, restart it's going to crash it has all these issues and this game and even aim lab doesn't seem to have issues like that and it's getting really frustrating and i hope kovacs actually optimizes their shitty engine or whatever it is now, i know aim lab sort of has a similar system where you can search for scenarios but you have to find the video for it and find the recommended and you have to like search for it and it's kind of a harder system here by sorting by difficulty it's way easier i'm sorting by tracking clicking stuff like that it's way easier than something like aim lab and aim lab also the download system is kind of scuffed and this it's really clean in in something like kovacs you really have to like find a youtube video you have to find a good one you have to go into third-party software third-party website to just find a playlist and always people are asking me what's a good playlist what's a good scenario what's a good this here you just search for yourself and you find it and it's super easy and honestly the most helpful thing they could have added and what sets it apart from a lot of other aim trainers I hope it adds something like sensitivity matcher, which something like Oblivity has, which is really interesting. It basically analyzes your sensitivity, changes your sensitivity for you and analyzes which is the best one over like a run of a thousand scenarios and, and roughly estimates like this is the sensitivity you've played the best with and gotten the best score with. So really interesting system. I hope they had something like sensitivity matcher in this one. That'll be it. Tell me what you think of it. If you've tried it, I'd really recommend picking this up for five bucks. I hope they make it a lot cheaper. I really recommend it. I recommend them do that. So that's it. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy. Done.